Good morning. It's currently 7.10. Just got up 10 minutes ago to make the cup of joe. I plan to work out at 8 a.m. So I have 50 minutes, but I might even begin that sooner just to get it out of the way because I have uh, schoolwork to start getting done today. Just want to go through my little morning routine. I'm starting to experiment with systemizing my life in you know every meticulous way. And so to begin, I need to start reading. This is a part of a course called Maxi Pro. It's made by Arlen Moore. You know, so this is like the identity section. This guy is uh, K Boggs. He's the calisthenics guy I'm taking the entire workout philosophy from. He got these gains primarily from all the calisthenics. Basically, there's a old Cisco that exists. That's where I'm at right now. And then here is a new Cisco with a lot more characteristics and stuff that I want to achieve and be and do. In the mornings, I read through this. Sets the intention for the day. Gets you primed into the pro version of yourself versus your old, your old way of life, which has just been probably down bad and degenerate. I'm just going to read through them and then uh, just get into some workout clothes and then I'll probably just start working out. So basically what I'm trying to do here, I haven't really done a long-term vlog kind of thing, but, but we're going to try it. Okay. I'm going to read this, get me situated, and then we'll be busting out the first workout of the day. All right, guys. So we just finished reading the master vision and it's 730. So we can get a jump start on this workout this morning. I didn't mention this in the, with the Siri automations. But yeah, that's something I'm investing some time into. I want to be able to just wake up, call on to Siri, and then I just say good morning. And then she starts repeating my entire to do list for the day. But more so like I wake up and she instantly tells me the weather and then I'm going to program it so it can also read uh, what's on my calendar and then it'll tell me some non-negotiables for the day like just keeping everything I want to keep in mind so cool stuff so let's get right into the workout stuff so following the K Boggs philosophy as I mentioned earlier he says to just pick three workouts and just master the basics of it he was saying set a daily volume target so this still might even be too much for my body right now so after today we'll see how this workout goes I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try to be like on time with it. I have a stopwatch on this little watch right here. I need to like be really diligent. We have 25 pull-ups to do, and I'll probably do that in five sets of five. And then we have push-ups, 50. I already did the 100 push-up challenge for 30 days, so that's gonna be pretty easy. You just have to do two sets of 25. And then for squats, it's gonna be three sets of 25. Um, I think my legs are gonna die trying to do 75. <laughs> So I might disperse that throughout the day, but later today I want to also go to a boxing class. So I hope that doesn't infringe on, you know, my ability to go to that. Because, um, so yeah, that's, that boxing is at 7 p.m. So I still need to schedule that. But yeah, I'm getting into boxing. Yeah, let's just, uh, let's just get right into it. All right, so workout is completed. Here we did five sets of five for pull-ups, two sets of 25 for uh, push-ups, and three sets of 25 for squats. So again, following the K Boggs calisthenics philosophy, I recommend you look him up. Um, he has a great, simple approach to fitness, and that's what I was looking for. Did not like the whole going to the gym and, you know, having to travel and wait for a, you know, a rack to be used for bench press or squat. When you could just work out at home, waste no travel time and just get her done. Plus at some point I wanna do like human flagpole and shit, like carry my body weight, doing handstands, sideways, muscle ups, like whatever. So overall workout was decent. Hopefully I'm not sore tomorrow. I feel fine now, but we'll see how that is. Good workout. What time is it now? 8.45. I did take like a 15 minute bathroom break. Uh, all that coffee I drank, uh, had had to dookie, had to dookie. You know, I was actually good about it. I did three minute rests between basically all the sets, except when it got to squat, I kind of extended it a lot more. So yeah, good workout today. Uh, what else I wanted to update? Oh, with Arlen Moore's uh, Maxi Pro that I'm within now, he's really emphasizing that you become a systems genius in all areas of life, not just business, where systems are primarily taught. That can be applied to your personal life with, you know, the relationships you have, the fitness you have, the diets you have. Everything can be a system that can be automated and, you know, applying an 80-20 principle. 20% 20 of your actions can lead to 80% of, you know, good results. So after these workouts, I'm trying to create a, you know, hygiene routine that right after this workout, I have a 10 minutes max and I can complete everything. I bought I bought something that hangs up on my bathroom wall and it holds my toothbrush, it'll hold my razor, it'll hold the 
it'll just hold mad shit. And then it was delayed, but I also got like a foot scrub. I got a mirror so I can shave in the shower. Uh, I got like exfoliating stuff, got a face one as well. Like the whole skincare is gonna be done, brushing my teeth, shaving, and then obviously body wash, shampoo. So I go in the shower and I'm out the shower. All I need to do is dry and apply lotion and that and I'm done. So that's kind of like the shower system I've been developing because I don't want to be wasting water 30 minutes, you know? So, so yeah, we're gonna see how I feel about tomorrow. Plus I'm gonna do a boxing workout. So if I'm sore, I'm probably just gonna lower my target volume or I just push through it. Right now it's 8.50, so. All right, this is getting really long. Monday's workout completed. Adios. Good morning. Got the cup of joe. Hey, hey, Louie. How you doing? How you doing? So, good morning. I did my daily volume yesterday, and I went to a boxing session at night. And I basically want to repeat that again. I'm a bit sore, but I'm gonna just try to push through it. If it's if it's gonna hurt, hurt, then I'm not gonna do. I think it's mainly the pull-ups I'm gonna have problems with, but. What? What, mister? What, mister? What? I'll feed you. I'll feed you, okay? I'll feed you after. All right, let's, let's make this quick. Um, I woke up a bit late, about 7.50, so usually I would wait, you know, start my workout at 8 and try to bust it out after 9. I'm grateful for my dog. I love him. It's okay. He's just requesting food. Shh. Okay. He has won again. Now, I need to shave my... You know, it's kind of funny. For so long, I've been struggling to grow facial hair. And now as I'm getting older, the hormones are starting to freaking activate. It's very inconvenient. It doesn't fill in. It just fills in now here. here. So I need to shave that. I got my boy his, his fool. Yesterday was a good day. Went for boxing, got to throw punches. I get to release anger. And you know, it's so weird. You watch boxing online and you're like, oh, that shit looks so easy. The people like weaving in and out and throwing punches, but it's like, <laughs> when you first go there, you're just like, what the fuck? Like extending my arm is so weird. And then like throwing it and it smashing against something and like landing. I don't know, just a weird thought. Yeah, so today's game plan is to see what we can manage for the daily, you know, calisthenics volume. And then I may go to boxing again later. All right, but now my dog is wanting some pedigree foods. Um, I'll see you guys on the other side of the workout. Whew. All right, so got through the workout today. Today is February 7th. This was day two. I was feeling sore just in this general area, but I was still able to do pull-ups. Towards the last set, they weren't as strong, but it is what it is, I got it through. We did this all with 15 minutes to go till nine, so quite surprised. I can't wait till I start picking up at least more reps, like for pull-ups, I can do 10 each set instead of five, five, five. I really need to like rest in between them because I get so tired after a small amount. In between sets, uh, I was picking up this book. I actually had this book for a couple of years and it's just been sitting in my bookshelf and as i'd be watching some youtube videos a lot of like famous youtubers that are making a lot of money they were talking about this book and i was like dude i literally own it so let me go through it again because i don't remember shit so my rest today was basically three minutes between each set and in between i was just you know reading a page or page or two at a time because i read kind of slow so i need to uh, work on that and yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna be going to boxing later today. All I know is uh, I gotta grind, do homework, and I gotta edit this video, stuff like that. And then now I need to go eat. I've still been struggling on the, the eating department, but I have some steaks that are out right now that I need to get defrosted. So I'll have some steak later tonight. Um, any other comments I have? Yeah, this is today, February 7th. Got a lot of reps. So, and here's a better example of the it's crazy now, my facial hair is starting to grow in just a few days. Like now I need to literally keep shaving, even though like it's not even developing. Come on, I gotta get my testosterone <laughs> checked or something. Like I gotta get some shit checked because yeah, I'm fucking grateful for this tripod. Ooh, let me end with things I'm grateful for. That's a thing we should do. Um, Extremely grateful for this laptop. I love Apple and I love MacBooks. Um, I'm grateful for this phone I'm recording on right now. Um, I actually have a really bougie camera, but I just try, been trying to keep it simple with the iPhone. So I think I need to incorporate that a lot more if I'm 
Anyway, and uh, I'm grateful for coffee. We have a Keurig machine, man. I get to just, I can get up. It gets me out of bed. I go over there. I just make a delicious warm, you know, liquid. Drink it. I'm grateful for water. Hydration is key. Grateful for glasses, because I could not see without them. Grateful to just be under a roof, have food in my stomach, have a loving family. They should be extremely grateful for what you've got. Everything in this world is finite. The only thing infinite is the universe box we're living in. But it's up to you within your finite life to leave an impact on it. For Because when after you go, oblivion. But I would like to think uh, we get some reincarnation of some kind because... Or our soul just goes to like level fucking two of this journey of consciousness in life. Okay, people are waking up. Have a beautiful, blessed day. Wishing you abundance, health, wealth, and happiness. Peace. Wanted to give you Wednesday's update. I did not do my daily volume today. I'm quite sore. I think I pushed it a bit by going yesterday. Doing my daily volume. It's, it's much more just my lats right now. They're just like incredibly sore. And I was gonna get myself to go into boxing tonight, but I think I'm gonna take, in a, you know, a day to rest. I was trying to force myself to just work out every single day, but I need to remember that rest is incredibly important, especially as a beginner getting back into this flow of things. Jeez, my hair is, my hair is just not where I want it to be right now, man. So excuse the little insecurities I'm having. But yeah, um, just wanted to have the update, you know, a little video in between it all. Hopefully tomorrow I'll be much more rested and I can do my workout and then go for boxing. That'd be very nice. So yeah, I, I took upon, uh, I took the initiative today to just uh, sit down and get homework done. So that's what I've been up to. I just cooked like three pounds of ground beef and I just ate like a pound. So my body's been digesting it and I'm super, super tired. Like I'm trying to just go to sleep right now and just take a little nap in my bed. I'm gonna take a nap, let that shit digest. Let my body just chill, have a good day and uh, see you tomorrow. So, good, good morning. It's the 9th, it's Thursday, it's 7.07. .07. Yesterday, I did not work out at all. I was quite sore. I think Tuesday, I actually should have rested, but instead I pushed myself even more and I was extremely sore, particularly my, my like lats, my shoulders, just like everything was just hurting. So I didn't go to boxing. Cause I was gonna just rest and then go to boxing later that night, but I was like, you know what, dude? Don't overstrain yourself. You are a beginner. You have not done pull-ups at all. And now I'm just throwing my body like 25 a day. So it needs to adjust to those kind of numbers. I don't really want to work out early this morning because I think I'm going to just go to the library instead and just start up with homework in the morning. I might just chill out. Um, sit down with a notebook, just write out some ideas while I drink my coffee, maybe a meditation sesh, and then I'm just gonna go do homework. And then I think for around lunchtime, you know, I'll eat food or I'll do my workout and then eat. And then later tonight I can go for boxing. So yeah, I don't really know the plan. Uh, the workout will most likely get done today, so you'll see that in the video. I thought I could be unstoppable and do this every single day, but you know, I'm a beginner. My body is just adjusting to all this stuff. And I think I should be actually doing this three times a week instead of every single day. But that's the process. That's you experimenting and learning your body and all things of that nature. But after this whole me feeling sore, I'll not be sore in the future because my body just built the muscle necessary. At worst, like, if I still don't work out today, I'm probably gonna throw myself into a boxing class. Yep, um, I'll see you guys with the update later. Cheers, have a beautiful morning. I'll see you on the other side. All right, just got done. Boxing workout, so at least I did something. Alright, see you. Good morning. I'm just restock 
in our Keurig machine. So, updates about yesterday. So yesterday I didn't do the daily volume, but I did go to boxing. And that was really nice. Probably, I think it's my fourth time going to the boxing classes, so slowly I'm starting to like get the hang of the throws. And my movement is not there at all. I'm still very uh, stiff, not very agile, but it's been nice to uh, kind of release anger in a way. It's not that I was angry to begin with, but it's like, you know, you can just finally launch your fist into something and it lands and there's no consequences because it's not a person. You know, some people have that issue where, you know, their anger makes them beat up people in real life and it's just like, no bro, you're gonna go to jail. So that was great. I'm glad I went and then I'm just gonna... While that's going. So today's game plan is, I think I wanna change the daily volume workout to be honest. I think I was putting too much stress on my body because when I did the workout Monday, I was extremely sore the next day. And then I still pushed it the next day for Tuesday. This motherfucker is hungry. So, I'm gonna give him his packet before he starts bitching. Last pack of this container. Look, he's gonna be eating grilled chicken today. All right, let me do that real quick. Actually, uh, a lady that I met at the boxing club was mentioning that when you are sore, you should still go to workout, as long as it's not intensely sore, because you're gonna be fortifying fortifying your muscles. Dude, don't, don't even be complaining right now. I fed you. Do you go outside? <clears throat> Daily volume was way too much, so I think I'm gonna do another K-Bog's philosophy where he mentioned that you could actually do one hard set of each workout and be done for the day. And that, that's gonna maximize hyper, not that it'll maximize hypertrophy, but it'll, it'll activate it and, you know, some mu muscle growth. Because if I just do one hard set of everything, then my routine for the day can get started a lot quicker, to be honest. I think I should do it one hard set for a week and then next week, I increase that hard set amount. So yeah, that's the game plan. And then I think later tonight, I'm going to hit boxing again. I haven't gone on a Friday, so it, it's gonna be a different teacher. I'll see you later. Have a good day. Yo, God damn. Say bye, Louis. Say bye. Bye, Louis. Say bye, Louis. Say bye, Louis. Say bye, Louis. All right, bye. <clears throat> Whew. Hello, so this is after the workout and uh, I'm gonna be honest after that last set of the squats, bro My body was feeling so weird. My stomach got super upset went to the bathroom and I yacked I threw up I feel much better now. I don't know. That was such a weird Nausea that just occurred. Um, I think I pushed myself on the the squats I went up to like 50 I think and I took like little breaks and but like I just kept pushing it, you know, I probably should have stopped at like 40 but my legs weren't burning So I was like, oh, let me keep going. But whew. so yeah, this is the uh, Another K box philosophy, you know Another thing he had was the daily volume targets where you try to hit them But there's also if you're tight on time to still get muscle growth, you know, just a little bit Do one hard set of each workout and then you're done for the day in total that can take 10 minutes yeah i would say up to 10 15 minutes so i might may try this for the rest of the week and then going into next week you know try two sets but i might just stick with one finish this week still do one hard set so i'm able to go to boxing every single day pull-ups i didn't i think i got up to like nine push-ups got up to like 40 with a lot of time to spare even with my little bathroom break i just took so yeah i'm gonna continue with my day shower get some breakfast and gotta work on some projects for school so yeah, happy Friday. Have a great day. See you in uh, tomorrow's video. Just finished up with a boxing session. Um, my hair is all wet. I've got my headband today, which is very unfortunate. And uh, my head is very cold with this cold wind on top of my sweaty body. My sweaty hair. Shit, but yeah, I just got done. Just had a 75 minute boxing class. Usually they're 45 minutes, but I was too late to schedule another class that's at 11, so I ended up coming to a 9 a.m. class on a Saturday. 
I'm just extremely proud of myself for going. God damn, can this wind stop? Jesus. And, uh, whew. So yeah, now the mission is I'm going to reward myself. I'm going to get one of those Fairlife chocolate milks. That'll have like 25 grams of protein or it's like 20 or something. And then I'm going to get myself a nice burger from Shake Shack. I need some protein, some calories. So that's the game plan. So yeah. Hello, people. Today is February 11th, midday. I'm just actually uh, getting through the edits right now the entire week here. Let me zoom out a lot more. You can probably see that. So, I don't know, I just wanted to do a little recap. So today I went to boxing. I got waitlisted for the 11 o'clock and I was like, fuck. I should have confirmed my class yesterday. So I had to get up early for the, well, I was up already by eight. And by 8.15, I'm like, oh, should I go, should I go? And then I ended up going. Grateful for my dad. He drove me, dropped me off. So yeah, great workout. My first time doing 75 minutes. Honestly, I was like, damn, 14 rounds. Fuck, bro. Because usually I do like just eight with a 45 minute class, so. But I'm extremely proud of myself that I pushed myself through that. It was nice, it was nice. Like, what you, you enjoy the workout at the end of it. Like, you don't like it during it, you know? It's just so much. I was a lot more tired than I was, but 75 minutes. So plans for tomorrow, I don't think I'll work out. I think I'll take Sunday as the chill day. And that could change if I add it in the vlog, but boxing is gonna be my workout for the day. Still fucking counts, so. I'm vibing. So yeah, that is the first week done of Cisco's blog. Hopefully you enjoyed watching my week. Hello. I'm gonna be a YouTuber right now. Make sure you like and comment. You know, that'll help the algorithm. And then if you wanna see me, I'm trying to keep doing this every week, so follow me, bro. Subscribe! Hopefully you can see my dog. What's up? Subscribe if you wanna keep watching me do this shit weekly, because I plan to do it. And Right now it's gonna be like my archive. It's gonna be my documentation from zero to hero, from down bad to Chad. So that's the, that's the kind of vision with this vlog. I'm not a fitness guru at the moment, so if that's what you're looking for, you're not gonna find it. It's just Cisco's journey right now. It's Cisco's blog, motherfucker. It is what I make it. All right, adios. See you next week.